guys, today I'll be showing you how to properly secure your wig using a wig grip. All right, so I wanted to come on here today and I wanted to kind of take it back to the basics, the beginning of wig wearing, because I know we have a lot of new people and also we have people here who maybe haven't tried out a wig grip in particular. So I really just wanted to show you how they work how you can use them to really get your wig nice and secure, keep it from coming off. And it's super easy and it requires no gluing down, which is really nice if you just wanna throw your wig on and go. So all you're really gonna need for this is a wig grip of some sort. So this is a regular wig grip right here with the lace in the center. Um, I also, um, right here, we'll get nice and close up and I'll show you how to do this on this right here. This is a wig cap, wig grip combo. Works the same way, just as a combination of a wig cap and a wig grip put together. And there's just a couple little tips I have for you just so that you know exactly how to secure your wig using this contraption because no one really ever told me and I kind of had to figure it out myself and I've found some tips and tricks along the way to make it a little bit easier. All right, so a couple of things we need to talk about first before we actually put this wig on is the construction of your wig itself. So most wigs are going to have a couple features that we're gonna need. So the first one being this back clip right here. Almost every wig should have a back comb. If it does not, you can put these into your wigs. I have a video on how to do it. I'm also working on a new one, um, but it's definitely super easy. So if you don't have these in your wig, this is probably the first step I would say you should do before you try to secure this wig whatsoever because it's just not gonna stay without some clips. And then there's also gonna be, for the most part, usually wigs have these two front clips, one right here and one right here. And again, if your wig does not have these clips, you can always add them in and you can always add more clips in if you feel like there's a place where your wig is not as secure. But these are what we're gonna be using to essentially anchor down our wig onto our wig grip. So we're gonna go ahead and take your wig, you're gonna put it onto your head. And the first thing I do once I get my wig grip on, and I get my wig on here, I'm gonna tilt this backwards so you guys can see, is this is that little comb right back here, and I'm actually gonna take that, and I'm literally going to hook that underneath my wig grip. So now it's actually underneath this wig grip, and it's not gonna move. This is an area where I have a really hard time, because I have a weird shaped head, and my wig always slides up right here, and when I do this, it does not move. So this is a great, First, no matter what, if you aren't gonna anchor it down anywhere else, I would anchor it down back here. Then you can also, for added security, once you get this wig where you want it to be on your head, so you're also going to go ahead and take this side clip here as well and do the same thing and hook it right underneath your wig grip. And then we're gonna bring this down where we need it to be and we're gonna take that little hook and we're gonna do the same exact thing. And that is literally going to hook our uh, wig head. All right, so this wig is not going anywhere once you have it secured just by those three clips. Like it's stuck on there, it is not coming off. So this is a really, really easy way to secure your wig without having to glue your wig down. You absolutely can glue your wig down if you want to do that. I have videos on how to install a wig with glue, with got to be glue spray, all sorts of different ways. But this is just a no gluing way to really just secure your wig so that you can Go and live your best wig life and not have to worry about your wig flying off your head or anything like that. So it's super easy. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly because I think it's something that a lot of people don't realize is out there and how amazing and useful it is. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.